Have you hurt your back? This is the video for you. This is the McGill Big 3 follow along video. We're going to do the McGill curl up, the side plank, and the bird dog. All you got to do is turn this on and follow along. Do this as part of your warm up before you're about to work out, or if you're currently experiencing back pain, or if you have in the past, this is a great thing to do daily to maintain back pain from happening and keeping your core strong and stable. All right, first thing we're gonna do is three 10 second contractions of the McGill curl up with each leg out. I'm gonna take my hands, palms facing down towards the mat and the natural curve of my spine. I'm gonna lay on my back. I'm gonna have one leg bent, the other leg out straight. We're about to do three 10 second contractions. I'll count, you just follow along. If you can, ideally we're gonna brace our abs like a belly punch and we're gonna bring the elbows and the head just off the floor, almost like they were on a scale and you want to weigh zero pounds on the scale. If that hurts your neck or anything like that, just go for that bracing sequence as I count down. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Take a few good breaths in and out. All right, we're gonna go for it again. Remember to breathe behind the brace as we're doing the 10 second countdown. All right, here we go. Brace the abs, bring the head and the elbows just off the ground. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, take a few deep breaths in and out. All right, last set on this side. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, all right, let's go ahead and switch. I'm putting my other leg out, the other leg is bent. All right, take a deep breath in and out. Here we go, first set on this side, come on up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Couple of breaths. All right. Second set. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. We just got one more. Easy peasy. Here we go. Come on up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, core should be feeling nice and good right now. Next thing we're gonna do is the modified side plank. This is gonna work your obliques, the lats, a little bit of the QL, just kind of getting that whole side core going. All right, what am I doing? I'm getting my elbow underneath my shoulder, about 90 degrees here. You can do here or here, whatever is most comfortable for you. I got my knee stacked, about 90 degree angle at the knee. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on up, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, and we're gonna do 10 seconds on each side. All right, you guys ready for it? Here we go, come on up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, good. I'm trying to create a straight line from shoulder, hip bone, and knee as I come on up, all right? We're about to do our second one. Here we go, come on up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, good. All right, we got one more set. If you're trying to figure out what to do with your hand, you can put it on the hip, it can be down, it can be floating up. If you wanna get a little bit more stability in your lats, you can grab the opposite shoulder, pull this elbow down. That's gonna get some good lats engagement going. All right, last one, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, other side. You guys are doing great. We're already on top of the mountain. We're coming down the other side. All right, I got my elbow underneath my shoulder. My knees are stacked about 90 degrees here. We're gonna come on up, all right, here we go. 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Good, that's our first set. Make sure that elbow is underneath the shoulder. If we're out here, we're really trying to strain. We're gonna be straining stuff and we're gonna be putting too much strain on these muscles right here. Let's utilize our joints, okay? For just stacking them on top. Here we go, second set. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take a few deep breaths in and out. <sighs> all right, last one here. And if this is too much for you, just try to do one set of each, all right? Start where you are and you can build up as you get better. Last one, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, last exercise, the bird dog. We're gonna get in this quadruped position with our wrists underneath our shoulders. Our knees are underneath our hips. Try to find that neutral spine and brace your abs, just like before with that belly slap. I got a big old glass of red wine on my back and I don't wanna spill it. We don't wanna create a mess, all right? So here we are. I'm gonna reach my opposite hand and opposite foot. The hand that's reaching, it's got a fist. I'm not reaching above my shoulder, just reaching out. And the leg that's going back, I got my toes flexed towards my nose or my knee, and then my heel is pushing back. I'm not lifting up, okay? We're trying to create a stable spine, not having movement through the spine, just through the limbs, all right? We're gonna do three 10 second contractions on each side. Here we go. Reach it out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it back in. Let's alternate, let's get the other side. Let's do, <laughs> let's work that mind a little bit. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. First set done, go back to the other side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Other side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last set. We're doing great. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And last one here. Here we go. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. If that's too hard for you, just start with reaching a leg out and hold that for the 10 seconds. And then you can also do just the arm. Start where you are. You shouldn't have any back pain while you're doing any of this stuff. And now your core should feel like it's ready to do the duties that it just needs to do to live a normal human life. All right, comment below and I hope this helps.